Hi guys doing and welcome to another ARK Garage video. If you want to see more Alfa Romeo related content make sure to hit that subscribe button if you already didn't. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix the flashing odometer on your Alfa Romeo using the multi ECU scan diagnostic tool. Now what I've done here uh, I got the replacement window switches for my Alfa Romeo GT and uh, as you can see right here the key is actually in the on position and I got the odometer flashing. Now uh, we already covered this subject in uh, one of our previous videos we did the proxy alignment using the auto diagnostic tool however I wasn't able to actually show you uh, which component is causing this issue. Today uh, using the multi ECU scan I'm going to show you how you can actually find out which component is causing the odometer to flash. So what I've done, uh, I've took my own cable, plugged it into the car and now I'm going to uh, start up the multi ECU scan tool. Alright, uh, I got my GT 1.8 Twin Spark selected. Uh, I'm going to select the body under the system menu and first of all, I'm going to show you the CAN info function. Now, uh, this function right here is going to show us all of the components on our car which are actually communicating through the CAN bus network. As you can see right here, we got the body computer node, the engine control node, uh, dashboard node, receiver radio, brake system, driver door, climate control, and steering angle. All of those components are actually present. However, nothing here indicates that there is anything wrong with the driver door node. Uh, so I'm going to hit disconnect. Now I'm going to select the proxy alignment procedure and I'm going to hit connect. Now this function right here besides the ability to do the proxy alignment it is also going to show us uh, which component on the CAN bus net network is not actually communicating properly. As you can see uh, all of these are uh, the active components on the car and you can see right here the driver door node it says uh, EOL failed uh, so that's basically our issue right there now if you had the issue with the dashboard or something like that it would be marked in red and it would say something again as EOL failed or something like that now the system also uh, registered that I removed the radio but that is not actually causing the odometer to flash so uh, what are your options if you see one of your components marked with red right here well if uh, you just replaced it as i did all you have to do is proxy alignment procedure uh, otherwise if you got the flashing odometer out of nowhere uh, you can try getting rid of it using the proxy alignment but uh, the chances are that you have to either replace it or fix it after you do that you still have to do the proxy alignment procedure all you have to do is go to adjustments and uh, hit execute after you read all of the notes and warnings all you have to do is hit the execute button it again says right here please read all of the notes i'm gonna hit y and uh, you can see right here it's starting to uh, write and configure each of the modules and you can see right here you got the uh, uh, status so basically when the writing is uh, successful you're gonna see the success note right here alright it's configuring the dashboard node and you can see it says success now here's our uh, driver door node right here it says success so it's basically configured successfully now do not interrupt this process as it says right in the notes uh, wait for it to end and uh, you have to turn the ignition off for I think 5 or 10 seconds now here it is it says turn the key off and press Y to continue so I'm turning the putting the key in the off position and I'm gonna hit Y 
Now let's see if we solved our issue. I'm gonna put the key into the on position. The odometer is not flashing, so I'm gonna start the car. As you can see right here, everything looks fine and everything functions properly. So, uh, the flashing odometer fix and diagnosis is, uh, is as easy as this. Uh, that would be it for this video. If you liked it, hit a like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our videos with the rest of our